Everything's going good cause you're around Baby just tell me are you staying by my side Is this real or is it all mine Is this real Me, am I in your mind? Cause I think of you all the Everything's going good cause you're around Baby just tell me are you staying by my side Is this real or is it my mind Good time zones, everybody, and welcome to Thursday. <sighs> Caldera looks so barren on this. Is the Caldera? I don't think the Caldera is even in the uh, um, time lapse, is it? Time lapse? Uh, you know what I mean. Giant map room. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that that that's. Pre, um, pre-existing of uh, the Caldera at all. I shall. Uh, I'll have to ponder an update to that particular uh, segment. Obviously. Um, yes. Greetings for OK. Greetings Raven. Uh, and as I say, I could hardly turn around and say uh, in the title of this that um, uh, the, the, the stream is likely to be a nuttier than a squirrel's poop. And to anyone who's just walked in on that statement, hello. <laughs> uh, I'm sure somebody, uh, there, there, there may be a lurker somewhere who's just walked in, gone, nah, and walked out. <laughs> uh, work, work, work is not so much on fire as, um, the, 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 there's now two independent fires in two different areas and several areas of 
the groups that I work with are only allowed to be alive because I walked out on them today. <laughs> hey, Shadow Sky. <laughs> and that's a statement to walk in on as well. <laughs> what it gets a volcanic rea rea reaction? Mm. Yes. Yep. Uh, basically, work actually is currently um, attempting to help me model what a caldera looks like. Yep. Uh, to which my response is, but I didn't want to model what the caldera looked like using my office. I was quite happy not knowing. Please. No. <sighs> um. Yes. Uh, I, I should probably, you know, cut back to actually having something useful on screen other than the, um, by the way, we're actually getting to go live uh, screen. Ah, blimey. God, blimey, Governor. He's gone nuts, he has. Squirrel! Or should that be squeak, squeak, squeakums? <sighs> My concept of logic has fallen over. Let's keep going that far. And then what I'm also going to do is acquire two items. Whoops, I've just overshot. <laughs> Yikes! Thank you, Minecraft. That was um, painful. Yeah, I can do this. Let's head down into the map room. Yeah, um... Oddly useful lag spike. Uh, I'm not so sure about the oddly useful. It did attempt to kill me. Yeah, the caldera does look distinctly different from what it used to, didn't it? Ah, <laughs> uh, my god. This thing is, um... Rapidly filling out. Rapidly. I'm almost tempted to say that we should probably focus on this village at some point. And this village. In the case of this village, um, I think we're going to move it. Because it's way too close to that village. I was pondering down here. Because this feels like an interesting area to have a city. And we could easily turn this into an interesting little um, island of something or other. Also, I do love the fact that you can see the single tree that is visible in the middle of the ocean right over the top of probably a mossy caverns. I think that's a bit big for just a lighthouse. Unless, like, the lighthouse is, you know, something like the... I don't know. Um, I was going to say the Lighthouse of Alexandria, but I, I'm not sure... It, it, is, is Alexandria the lighthouse? Oh, um. uh. Right, uh, you, and you. 816 and 808. One of the many Alexandrias. Yep. G given that one of my, um, given, given that one of my two NAS servers is called Alexandria, because library thereof, uh, would somebody mind double checking that uh, Raven hasn't just face planted his keyboards? <laughs> oh. <laughs> to talk. <laughs> um, dude, your push to talk is not useful for text chat. Uh, but does does make for an interesting. Um, response. I, I was about to say, what the heck is PTT? But uh, my brain did actually manage to translate that one. Boing, said Zebedee, as his sanity bounced out the window. Whoops. Right, let's put the green wool in here, all except for one stack. 
Okie dokie. Ah, no game sounds. That's better. <laughs> I forgot to unmute the server. The server? Desktop even. Always a good move. Helps if you remember to unmute everything. <laughs> the joys of having independent control of all of the audio signals. Ah, uh, I can control the. Uh, uh, <laughs> I can. <laughs> I was about to have a. Um, uh, there, there, there. Outer limits um, moment. We control the vertical. We control the horizontal. We control the audio. We control the video. Unfortunately, we have absolutely no control over the sanity. <laughs> um, or lack thereof. If you wish to find the sanity, please call 1 800 what? It's probably one eight hundred squirrel. Alright. Let's have a think. Oh, I've put down my um, sticks. So that's not gonna help. Hmm. Sorry, yawning. Apparently it's been a long day. So, we were, we were having a pondering of uh, what to do with this, and the grey was considered to be probably not the right colour. What I'm pondering is uh, green and white. So, oh, white, 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 green, 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 and then, uh, excuse me, thank you. One green banner, one green banner hanging off the edge, one green banner hanging off the edge. Sanity for the week, uh, pff, Monday? I'm, I, I'm sorry, we regret to inform you that the supply of sanity for the month has been exceeded, and the next supply will not be until March ends. If you wish to find more sanity, please dial 1-800. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Apparently that takes up the entire block space. Right, well, I won't be doing uh, map art to try and fill that area in, so we'll uh, just have to leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, I can just see myself doing map art. A single panel of white and a... Si <laughs> Uh, used twice, a single panel of green used twice. That would be a very, very big map. Or at least a very, very boring map. That gives us an indication that somebody's working on the sail to go here. We've got the green, the white, green and white, green and white, green and white. Everybody's green and white. Do da do da. Everybody's green and white. Do da do da day. Um. Mm. In a world of endless savannah. We find a man without any restrictions on his sanity, other than the fact that none exists. <laughs> Alrighty. Clay. Right, and put the green all the way, all the way. Carpets and green carpets in here for the moment. I should probably do something with this powder snow at some point. You know, like go to the um, nether and stick in a hole next to a frog. 
That sounds wrong. Oh well. Um, running right along. Squeak, squeak, squeakums. Squirrely. Nice and squirrely. Minecraft often sounds very wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can attest to this. Uh, or at least that's my excuse. <laughs> and I'm sticking to it. Ooh. I'd like to sleep now. Actually, no, I really would like to sleep. <laughs> if I fall asleep against the keyboard, um, just, you know, I was about to say, just, just yell at me <laughs> until I wake up. But I'm not sure that would work. It's like, Scots, wake up, Scots, wake up, Scots, wake up. You've fallen asleep against Minecraft. I don't think it would do that somehow. I think this hole... This, this hole needs to go. No. Uh, D D Discord is, I'm afraid, uh, set to streamer mode. Uh, so all it'll do is just um, receive the message. Uh, I have learned that mistake. I can probably sleep now. Oh, good point. And it's a new moon. New moon. Etc. <laughs> as long as you have one active mod in chat. Hmm, interesting. I didn't even know that was allowed. We, we might even be able to con uh, to, to um, conclude that Raven is semi-active at this point. Um, I, I think the problem would be the snoring. Unfortunately for my sanity, I do snore. Although I think the no drama safety llama would probably have, uh, it would be the one to take issue with that more than anything. Actually, the no drama safety llama would probably take issue at me sleeping in uh, a desk chair rather than uh, somewhere appropriate. That's the no drama safety llama for you. Always got his eye out for the for the uh, for things to be done right. Multi-day charity marathon. I, I can understand why people do those because some of those can be for a very very good cause, but dear God, would you have to be crazy to attempt it? And that one, it, the, you, you can hold that one against me. <laughs> that that one would probably not be involved. Eh, reasonable sleep schedule, many mods. Eh, yeah, but define reasonable. I mean, my definition of reasonable sleep schedule is I don't have one. <laughs> As in, my, my sleep schedule is broken. What was I doing? Six plus hours a day. Oh, well, okay. Then maybe it's not as broken as it seems. Right, I guess this means I can't sleep because Raven's disappearing. <laughs> I am not mad now. Oh, 
I'm curious. Okay, so that's the map that uh, I strongly suspect has the... Awake-ish. <laughs> Greetings, Ladstrad. So this map, I strongly suspect, has large amounts of ocean and quite possibly at least one ocean temple in it. And this map has large amounts of cold, so therefore probably large amounts of murder snow in it. There, there may be something happening with those at some point in the near future. God knows when. Maybe. Who knows? I know, I, I, I'm really starting to think that Minecraft hates me and does not want to give me a desert. For which I am very, very, um... What's the word I'm looking for, Llama? Something appropriate. And something that's not going to, you know, be too R-rated. <laughs> I'm fairly sure the llama can tell me uh, not to say things that are R-rated. I need to do a roof over the sail-making area. I, I swear this Minecraft world does not want to give me a desert. me that um, Shuffle has just gotten very confused. Shuffle, I'm going to overrule you here. In the place where you feel, the fire's gone That'll do. I'm not sure why Shuffle thought that was, um, that, that, yeah, ra Random is allowed to pick the same thing twice. I'm just allowed to overrule it. Also, I've just realised, uh, that is not very stable. It's not even on a support raft. Foundations are weak. Not my foundations being weak. Please, anything but my foundations being weak. Don't hold that against me. No! I'll just collapse! Oh, wait. That's the problem with having weak foundations. Um. <laughs> figure out a concept for a roof for this. It doesn't need to be a, you know, really interesting roof, because it's supposed to be a workshop. But I don't want it to be too boring. I know. Let's go with the same sort of thing that we've got all over the danged place. And since it's stone, we can probably get away with it. <laughs> No, no, we cost that at the. What? He's a mouthy mood today. I think the um, the no drama safety llama has decided that he wants to actually have um, his own stream. I think he's decided that actually he's the most interesting one here. 
and therefore uh, I should just let him have uh, the last word on everything. Ow. Let's try that again. Preferably without falling. There we go. And based on that, I need to take that one out. Oh, this building is even. Well, that's odd. did the building even who knows wow I thought I had a decent amount of uh, those slabs that might be close to Possibly being an appropriately suitable number, maybe. Still need to work out what we're going to do to it. Yeah, but uh, Okay. And. Then we might as well just do that. That works. That, that works. And I'm aware that this one sticks out and this one doesn't. Uh, I try to work out whether or not I want it to stick out or whether or not I don't want it to stick out. You stick your roof lying out. You stick your roof lying in. In and out, in and out. You stick it all about. You decide you're completely mad and you to carry on anyway. <laughs> Which probably means that I'm actually short by more than... I think I am. I think I am. I think I am. No, I am. I'm thinking at some point this would make a lovely track to have as I perhaps have, say, a cinematic of walking into this city through the caldera once it's all finished. You know, sometime in 2020-something. 20, 20 I will not be drawn on which 2020 something it will be, however. Mostly because I don't know. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, true. I have done a reasonable amount in two months. I, I just have a sneaking suspicion that everything above that reasonable amount is going to take a ridiculous amount extra as I continuously seem to increase the uh, the detail levels. Dark Oak or Spruce? I think Spruce is probably better for this. I'm fairly sure I do not have enough spruce in my inventory for that. Yeah. That that one is going to be one of those oh dear god moments. Uh, that's why I really need to finish the uh, the initial rough pass as soon as possible so that I can actually start on that. Because then I can actually start doing that. Um, oh, no. um, possibly as sort of say one day a week on stream, so that it 
is not something that is just me constantly doing that for like 16 months. So it might be something like, um, uh, I don't know, uh, <laughs> Landscaping Wednesday or something. Welcome back, Raven. I don't suppose we've got any more in there. Definitely haven't got any more in there. Nothing of value in there. Awesome. Please tell me I'm not out of... Oh, good, I'm not. Yes, at, at, at some point the caldera edging will start being designed um, and detailed. I just haven't um, got the foggiest clue when. Okay, how does that look? That looks alright. I don't think it needed any more than that, really. Uh, what it does need is maybe some detailing under the heading of those windows, something resembling a lamp, and possibly... do I want to deal with it? Well, I probably should consider adding the uh, outside area, uh, which means overgrowth. Undergrowth, overgrowth, one balloon free, I don't know why I've chosen this song. consider a door as well. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's the sort of thing that might possibly be a useful addition to a building. What should we do? Crimson? No, well, no, no, actually. We got the, the crimson highlight elsewhere. Actually, it's mangrove elsewhere. But, um, will a crimson door against all of this look okay? No, not in any realm uh, would that crimson go well against um, those, those 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 bricks. I suppose this door in there. Nope. Kind of short on stone. I wonder if I've got any in the um, the con Caldera construction site. That works. Uh, let's see. What's the quickest way into here? That way. One of these days, I will end up sealing that off or sealing this off, and I'll sudden and I'll attempt to fly into it uh, with rockets and just go splat. Even worse than uh, Wiley e. Coyote.
and I'm sure everyone will have a good laugh at it because to be honest yes but will it, it will be funny when it happens yes exactly I, I was actually about to say that uh, it, it will actually be incredibly funny as a result I'm sure I saw some tough elsewhere there it is and some andesite let, let, let's compress those down into a useful um, Hmm. Don't have as much materials locally as I used to. I wonder where they all went. Hmm. No. No clue. I can't think where all of the local materials have gone. Oh, where, oh, where did the materials all go? Oh, where, oh, where can they be? This building is going to need a rethink. Mostly into what the heck is it, but that's a different problem. Right, this area, because it's right next to the water line, I think is probably the one where we're going to have both uh, the moss and some breakage. probably also consider bits of half slabs and stairs and so forth. Let's bring this line forwards. I'm not sure I like two of those right next to each other. Let's do that. You and where's the tough? There and there, here, and here. A bit of that, a bit of that. Uh, no, I didn't need to actually move that because it's in my inventory. Actually, that should probably be a half slab. And some andesite. Yeah, right, let's get some let's get some half slabs. Not many. Uh, let's get two of you. Two of you. Actually no, one of you initially. And two of you. Alright. No. I know that's four. Oh well. Oh um, I can apparently uh, no, really? What do you mean I can't sleep yet? <sighs> Are you gonna let me sleep? Thank you. Oh, I did. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see. Half slabs here, 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 here of that one. And one of those. A bit of that. A bit here. Okay, so I need another cobble, half slab, and a stair. So let's get a couple of those. A couple of those. Can't do much with those. And let's get a couple of those. Let's see what we can do with this. amuses me when Minecraft decides that you're in water and therefore you need to be thrown upwards. Yeah, that's starting to feel like it's nicely slipped away, so I need stones to go in the water. Which I think will help uh, sell that better. And some of these... Couple of 
later. And a couple of those. And a couple of those. I think that'll sell it if I can put these into the water in places. Uh, so, like here, here. Another one of those. A couple of these. Over there. One of them. A bit of that. I'm not going to fill it in in all areas. Just want to make it look like stuff has collapsed or been washed under. Almost as though this whole area actually used to be further up on land. Right, what I now need is... Oh, excellent. I actually have bone meal already. So I can do that, and that, and that. And a bit here, and some here. Ooh, that's a lot of gravel just sitting there doing nothing. Um, shame. I'm going to leave it there, though. Yeah, just mm, stone. A couple of bits of stone. No, cobble. Cobble. I don't know why, but I look at large expanses of pure unwashed sand and think that's nice. Would it actually be like that? Or would there actually be bits, be bits of stuff? Oh yeah, you can't put a... people not to come through here and push every button in the uh, vain hope that I'll actually have left secret passage or something here. <laughs> ah, that would be funny. Just occasionally in a couple of places in the world I plan on doing this and leaving and making one of them trigger a, a secret uh, stairway or something and then just not telling any of you where it is. Yes, that would be particularly vindictive. But wouldn't it be funny? <laughs> what was I coming back over here for? There was something. There was something very specific that I came over here for. And now I've forgotten what it was. Oh! wasn't even over here. Oh. It was, uh, I went to glow lichen. <laughs> uh, actually, I should probably grab some, let's get some oak leaves, um, a couple of dark oak fence. Have we got any more? No, I think that's probably all the oak leaves that we have in this local vicinity at the moment. Might mean we have to do nasty things to a tree. Hey, Cyber! Greetings! How are you doing, sir? And, uh, more importantly, are you looking after yourself? stepdad on everybody. Mm 
do, 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 do. Actually, I think that might actually be a nice tree as is. Yeah, let's leave it at that. And let's stick some of those there, a bit of that there. Three hours seeing a stat block for DMD monster, only to realise he wouldn't have a chance to use it for a while. So basically what you're saying is you now have a nicely designed monster ready for use in the future uh, that you can just hold in reserve. Exactly. It's all a matter of how you think about it uh, when you actually phrase it to yourself later. You'll come back to it. Uh, future you will be very happy to make use of the stat block that you've made for this monster. Teleporting scent hound that tracks shapecast uh, shapecasters and spell changers. Yeah, them too. Um, <laughs> teleporting scent hound. Question. If you're if you're holding a leash, does the leash suddenly just go slack as it disappears off, or do you actually get um, uh, do, do you get teleported with it? off, bites into an enemy mage, teleports itself and the black mage uh, uh, black mage back to your feet, yeah mage back to your feet okay, so it's uh, effectively it's a teleporting golden retriever sounds vicious and fun until the moment that it uh, bites into a mind flayer and then teleports back with that. At which point, it's like, no, bad doggy, bad doggy. <laughs> <laughs> I just have this image of it teleporting back with a mind flayer or Cthulhu or something and you just going, oh boy. Eagle Bloodhound Cross. <laughs> hey, nice. I should have done some of the lichen on the roof. Sounds like I should be trying to fiddle on the roof next. Ah. Uh, Angry tiger in a ball gown. Now that that <laughs> angry tiger in a ball gown. That's um that that's that's a very interesting concept as well. Actually, 
I think what I'm going to do is take one of those and one of those and just make a very small bush. It's a dinky little bush. Isn't it adorable? Lovely wee dinky 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 Who's a dinky little bush? Who's a who's a who's a who's a Uh, the answer to that shadow is carefully. Or ask you on a date. So in other words, ask it on a date would, <laughs> would not be the worst <laughs> response for how does that happen. Um, what? You heard me. I'm thinking I should probably fill in this bit a little more. to actually raise this area up a little bit so that this pathway doesn't come in, go down and then come straight back up immediately because that feels wrong. I'm also wondering if it would be more interesting to have this path Bound a lower section. Yeah, that's more interesting. So then it comes through and then goes across here at a high level and then starts to drop down. Hello, Nanyan. Uh, nobody is ever tardy to this chat. Nobody is ever tardy to this chat. Simply existing and turning up is more than is expected. I never asked a chicken. Um, I, I have actually just been working on the uh, the the the, the um, shipyard, uh, except for the fact that I suddenly decided that I want to fill in this landscape a little bit and reshape some of it because it just crossed my mind to. I've got an entire barrel of dirt to basically fill in. Yes, a cyber who has been regaling us with tales of very, very dangerous puppies. Depends on how much of it it is. I mean, I have a very nice garlic bread pizza that I picked up uh, on the way home today, 
which will probably be a full meal on Saturday. It wasn't today's meal because I also picked up the stuff uh, to make a very nice stuffed gnocchi with pesto and mozzarella balls. Which is kind of one of my favourite dishes recently because stuffed gnocchi with pesto and mozzarella balls is very nice. A uh, couple of... Uh, eh, nothing wrong with that. I mean, the pesto I, u uh, the pesto I use comes from Sainsbury's and the stuffed gnocchi comes from Sainsbury's. All pre-made, so all I have to do is stuff it in a frying pan and carefully look after it. Need to go shopping, didn't want to today. Uh, meh. I, I didn't want to go out today, but they kind of insist that I turn up to work occasionally. And at the moment, that occasionally is more under the heading of uh, thou shalt turn up twice a week. Rotten more sods. Yeah, you're, you're not very uh, far off on that one, for okay, unfortunately. Ah, well. Yes, I like that. That shape works better. Might have to leave enough room for a... Oh, no, nope, I've left enough room for a path. That's a four wide. So take out that one. It becomes a five wide. And then we can take out a couple of these. So, yeah. yeah. Why on earth don't you write it? Right? Um, It's one of those dishes that doesn't make sense written in any language, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> um, no, the, re the reason why Frauke mentioned volcanoes is uh, I, I commented near the beginning of stream. Uh, now I have two fires that I'm fighting. Because, hey, why make my life easy with one screw-up? Uh, that said, one of the screw-ups is currently held together with enough gaffer tape to uh, keep it possibly stable. And the other one is just that several people who should know better don't. I believe the long uh, the, the the easy way to find that out, Cyber, is just to uh, go to um, go go to Google and type define colon Noki, uh, and it'll give the full etymo etymology of it. There you are. I was flying as I landed in bed. Sleep, sleep. One must remember to sleep. Eh. Wikipedia is all right. You, you just said you were after an etymology, so hence I went after the de 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 definition, even.
That sounds like a very interesting cartoon. The concept of a narcoleptic paratrooper just really sounds like it would be a very interesting cartoon series. That reminds me, it's been a while since I attempted to read Atomic Robo. I should actually get round to that and really have a good go at reading the whole dang lot of it. And I have absolutely no idea how those two related in my head, but we'll just assume that a squirrel tripped over the appropriate uh, filing card. Probably is a Looney Tune. That's all, folks. Also, where is the earth shattering kaboom? I was promised an earth shattering kaboom. Also, who are you calling a loony? I really should let these bees get back into their house and then, um, house, hive, same difference, uh, and then just steal it wholeheartedly with them in it. Why am I bothering to do that by hand when I happen to have a shuffle? That's better. Now it actually feels bit better shaped. This we can't do much about because there's going to be a building here, so there's enough foundations to go there. Also, we're, we're down to only 59 anvils. So, um, that's all we've got. But I've got two bees nests already. Two bees, or not two bees. That... It's absolutely nothing to do with the question. Um, and do I have dandelions and poppin poppins? Poppies in the... Uh, not in that one. Neither of these... Neither of these barrels that happen to be shulker shaped have poppies or dandelions in them. I assume that's probably because I don't care because they're easily replaceable. Hey, Squishy. Uh, not sure about torturing villagers. Haven't decided. at least put something approximating a path back in until we work out everything and bring it through as a proper stone path. what's going to exist to make sure that people don't actually just cut the corner here much wider but there will probably be something <laughs> I mean there kind of has to be because otherwise people will just uh, turn the corner of this building here and just go straight this way because they'll be lazy you'll be lazy and I'll be sorry no, other way around. I'll be lazy and you'll be sorry. No, wait. Uh, so I get it. Um, ignore all of that. Okay. 
Uh, you... Path of Least Resistance. Yes, that's the one. Similarly, there's a good reason for there to be a path running along here, because there's a wall there, and so it wouldn't make sense for people to turn there. And there'll probably be something here instead. And so you'll come down here, because that wall might come around this area. Need to figure that one out. Burp, burp, burp. Burp is the word. We still got all of our fish? Yeah, I'd say we still got all of our fish. Just one or a few. Not quite sure how many few is right now because I forgot. Okay. Uh, next step. Step next. Step and wolf. Step in time. Step in time. Everybody, step in time. Hey, Tor. Uh, path of least resistance being a road name. That's an interesting one. What are we going to do with this building? I mean, I've jokingly suggested that it would be a sales, but I've done a sales. And we've got the sort of carpentry area uh, here, and we've got the, the boat building area here. And at some point, next to one of my roads, there's going to be the Temple of the Road. Praise the road. So, what goes well over here? Hmm... Trying to make my mind up. What would I, what would be a good building to put here? I mean, it's not so much a dry dock on the grounds that it's a slipway. Uh, a dry dock generally means a uh, dock inspector's house might work. Yeah, somewhere for somebody to live, perhaps with all of this. Tavern, nearly paid sailors are drunk. Now, Tavern's going to be the huge building next to the gate. Uh, well. Because that's going to be a tavern and an inn simultaneously. Actually, um, what I don't have is, um, I don't have a, um, I'm not sure, the question is, do I want that on this side of the, the bin? I don't have a house for the priest. Well, um, maybe, what was the maybe? I've lost track. My, my brain has been on, like, three different tangents. <laughs> yes, but my brain is run by squirrels that are on a pub crawl. Somebody type pub crawl, please. Um, and therefore... Uh, it tends to go off in every direction simultaneously. Thank you. <laughs> so many pub crawls. Yay! I, I really need to get... Uh, I need to find somebody who is a decent animation artist and get a pub crawl animation at some point. Uh, the problem is that would need a decent animation artist and me to actually probably have enough cash to you know, pay them, because that's the sort of thing that really should come in at a decent few hundred pounds, I suspect, because that's not a simple animation. 
SLA is the Squirrel Libation Army. Hence why they're all on pub crawls. <laughs> Actually, that probably should become um, exclamation. I, I should probably add a, uh, a custom command of exclamation park SLA to explain what the SLA is. <sighs> so many custom commands, so little time. No, no, no service level agreements involved in this one. Actually, no, I don't think, um... No, actually, we'll hold on to that. I've changed my mind. Uh, why do I even have that much bone meal in my inventory? Why not? It's not like I'm ever going to run out of it. Uh, Monday. It, it didn't go... Well... Yeah, let, let's... Moving on. Um... <laughs> Right along, ba ba dum, ba ba dum. Loose and fancy free. Getting there is half the. Why do I always have that song in my head at that sort of point? <laughs> Probably because I've watched the Muppet movie far too many times. Squirrel. Yeah. Three, four, five. Five feels good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight does not feel good. So, let's make it seven, and move this one by one. It is a good song, and a good movie. Although, to be honest, I still think that the best Muppet movie is A Muppet Christmas Carol. Seven or five? Five. Mm. Muppet Treasure Island. Ooh, controversial. To the north. Dirty dishes. No, um... How does she do that? Uh, there may be extra words involved in that statement, but uh, I'm not invo not involving that because I'm attempting to still reasonably keep this PG. <laughs> Might be PG-13, and well, hey, if you've got a dirty mind, congratulations. So have the rest of us. This might just be a, a, um, a small overhang. Overhang? Hangout? Lean to! That's the word I was looking for. Wow. <laughs> um. Ba I realise I've got nowhere for the priest to live. And usually there's like a priest's cottage right next door to a chapel. Unless, of course, he lives in the walled mansion. Or he's actually rooming with um, Larmageddon. I think it might be that this area becomes where the priest lives. I just need to work out the correct shape building. To, well, I could put a decent long, small building in. Yeah. Nice, decent, long house here. Yeah, that'll come later then. Yeah, I, I feel like um, the priest's house will just be here. 
That's the church that likely built the Temple of the Yeet. Why not put the base priests in the basement? Reasonable. Although, to be honest, I've just remembered. We, we have um, this building. And, well, this building. Both of which are pretty damned big. And this one feels like it might be the right shape for a priest's house. Being sort of T-shaped and weird. Also, I haven't yeeted anything in at least two hours. Whoops, no. Okay, so we will turn one of those into the priest's house. Uh, this is probably just a small house for um, some of the carpenters, then. That might make sense, actually. Carpentry house. Carpentry? Carpent. Carp. 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 Yeah, because then he can come out the back door of this, go across the road, and straight into his house, which actually starts here rather than where this path goes. Yeah, that'll be nice. Squirrel. That's nothing new. Right. Um. Oh, there's a load of yellow wool in there. Nope. This one. Oh. Well, maybe not. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, Money Penny. Interesting. Uh, I think I was about to accidentally make 32, um, 32 buttons there, which would have been very interesting. Buttons, or oh, buttons, no, not that many. <laughs> um... Yeah, at some point this path needs to turn into a road. Uh, so that it actually, you know, can blend in with the road as it reaches the, uh, the, the, the walled mansion. And really thinking about it, there's this whole... There's this whole section just in the front of the temple that kind of is incomplete. Like the rest of this world. Uh, he says pointedly not attempting to look at the caldera that's, you know, like 17... I was about to say 17,000, but actually it might be like... Uh, there might be a couple of hundred thousand... No, actually, no, I think there's like 70,000 blocks of stone in all of this. What am I up to for statistics? Times used. Stone. 82,000. Yeah. Yeah. And see where it's going. <sighs> yeah, I, I think it probably is about 60,000 is in the caldera so far. And 20,000 probably in... Well, no, because this is pure stone. So probably 10,000 is in the old city, uh, the very first city. And maybe 60 to 70,000 is in the caldera. That's a disturbing amount of stone. I kind of feel like I should make this easier for myself and lower this a bit. And then raise this a bit. <laughs> Minecraft. My Minecraft. Did, did, didn't we have words about this? And the whole 
constantly raining thing. I said I wasn't going to be upset at you, and you weren't going to constantly rain every ten minutes. Apparently one of us didn't get the message. Not quite sure which of us it was. I mean, it, it, it's a very easy mistake to make. Just raining every ten minutes. But... <sighs> One day I need to figure out what I'm going to put here as a sort of... Actually, I think this will probably just be another house. And it'll just be somebody to look after the frogs. It'll be the... Uh, the, the... The, the, the frog owner. Because <laughs> clearly, that's exactly what you need. A frog owner. Have you seen the frogger man? The frogger man? The frogger man? Have you seen the frogger man? What? <laughs> where did that one come from? Hmm. I've just realised filling this in might not actually be the best of ideas. Unless we're... No, actually, no. I'm going to go through with that one, because I have an idea. I've just had an idea. And that is that the interior of this house is going to be one block higher than than this level. It's not that bad yet. Mm-hmm. I see. I see how it is. You're all picking on me again. Good poor little old innocent me. yet. <laughs> so if we start now, we might reach minimum safe distance. <laughs> tour. Tour. There is no minimum safe distance. I will find you. I will hunt you down. And I will drop an anvil on you from orbit. Um... <laughs> years of practice. Decades. Millennia. Right. Um, <laughs> moving right along before this all gets weird. Wait, gets? Um, <laughs> oh dear. You're all doomed. You're all doomed, and I'm taking you with me. It's not the sensiblest thing to put there. I need a doorstep. What shall we do for? What shall we do with a drunken Scotsman? What shall we do? No, actually, not that drunken. Um, I haven't even started on the alcohol yet. Yet, being the operative word. Mm. 
One wide or two wide door? Eh, one. It's only a carpenter's house. Um, yes. Okay, so that gives us the beginnings of a sort of foundational layout for this house. It's not very big, it doesn't need to be. And this is going to be the wall level, lower wall level. Uh, I need more stone brick. gonna put a wall up here as well. Let's do that. That kind of fits. Uh, I should probably actually put some mossy cobble in here. I think I'm out of mossy cobble though. So, to the moss farm! To the moss farm! Because apparently we're out of moss yet again. We ran out of moss almost as fast as we ran out of uh, glow lichen and bone meal. Now at some point I will decorate this room. Today is not that day. How to make sure I only pick up moss. Make sure that's the only thing I have room for in my inventory that will come out of this room. Uh, it's not so much running out of as I just don't have any in my inventory. Ah, I'm trapped. We're up to 52, 58. 64. There we are. And we can turn it off again. It's almost interesting watching just how much bone meal comes in after you switch it off. It, it's a good quarter of a stack at times. Really? Is that what you all think? Apparently so. So many llama. Llama again! Reminds me, I'm still very tempted to go out and actually have a look at that book called The Apocal Alpacalypse. Just because it sounded like an interesting one. I swear, Amazon knows the, uh, that Lamageddon exists. man. It knows. That and somebody else must know if they've written a book about the apocalypse. Or alpacalypse, even. Get the right phrasing, Scots. Yep. 
this building is somewhat overrun. Somewhat. Uh, not sure that'll ever be visible, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, floor level, I need this wall to continue. It's nearly suicide trip o'clock. Apparently, it is suicide trip o'clock. Awesome. Right, how are we doing? I uh, need to finish off this corner. I don't suppose we've got any more of. No, apparently not. So, fine, we'll make two more. Thank you. And one. No. Not what I wanted. Also not what I wanted. I wanted that. Thank you. And uh, you are there. So that, that, and that. Yeah, let's do that. You, uh, you, you, you. Okay, so we've got a front door step. And we've got an exterior. Oops, missed it. Exterior wall that goes around the building at ground level. So now we need a floor. Uh, what are we going to make the floor out of? I know. Right, first things first. What have we got in my inventory? Yep. Let's get rid of you. 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 There, hold on to that. Those, those are both dirt, that's alright. I have a grand total of two stone left after all that. Am I? What? Why? I brought back a load of stone. And cobble. Is that really nearly two stacks of cobble and two stacks of stone that have gone into that building already? That's just ridiculous how fast that sort of... how fast it is to burn through s materials. Oh well. ceases to amaze me just how fast I can run out of materials. You'd think I'd be used to it by now. Given how often I run out of materials. Less than half the price of a Cooler Master. Is it less than half the uh, ha half the decency? Because uh, under those circumstances, that means that you've just bought nothing that works. I mean, Cooler Master are okay, but half but at, at that price, I'd be worrying that it doesn't have any quality at all. is way more birch logs. So I can put away these. Or well, not these. We'll do. Thank you.
Yeah. Amazon does have a habit of that. And if it's not directly Amazon itself, it'll be uh, some Chinese reseller that has found that Amazon just doesn't uh, enforce anything. In fact, forget the word Chinese on that. It'll just be a reseller who's decided that they can make as much money as they can and nobody's going to actually get in the way. To me, sounds like it might be a factory rebadging. Under the heading of, this came from a Cooler Master factory, but nobody's allowed to say that. There we are. That feels like a nice floor. And gives me two rooms, effectively. One that we can separate off here, and then this one. Maybe even more, because we can probably turn that into a bedroom. Actually, that would probably be a very good bedroom, that side. Do something here, do something there. Three-room three, three room house. I think that's probably about right. Maybe even turn it into a two-bedroom... Two-bed, no bath. It has the empty space where the Cool Master branding would be, at which point it's probably Cool Master that didn't pass the uh, str the uh, stringent um, quality tests. use the birch. Ah, okay. Engraved or embossed in the aluminium. Okay. total of one of those. But I have 22 of these, so let's use those up first. And then grab some of those. 25 is nowhere near enough. But it'll at least let me work out a position of these fake walls. by two. Oh no, because I've got to put in some further up ones. So I need one here, two here, one here, and then we've got small room and smaller room, and then we put a row across here to turn that into another, yeah. Yeah. 
So let's turn those into that. Really? Off by one? Oh, off by... <laughs> Why Minecraft? Why? <laughs> Minecraft, why must you do this to me? Why? Why? Why must you do this to me? What did I do to you? It's just not fair. Why does it pick on me with all of these off-by-one errors? raining again. It's got to be raining again. Can't see it, but I know it's raining again. Yep, there it is. It's raining again. I love the way that it's only raining on this building. <laughs> why does it only rain on this building? I don't know why. I really don't know why. It hates me with these off by one arrows. Right. Probably the most annoying thing here at this point is I need three doors. I know I have two. So that's that that's that's just Oh no, I've got five. Excellent. Even better. Oh, because I've only got uh, who knows. I've lost track of how many doors I have and where they are. Let me in. Let us in, let us in, let us out, let us out. Ah, uh, now I need to watch Clue again. Worst thing is, if I watch Clue, do I watch it with, um, random ending? All the endings? Or, uh... Actually, those are your only two options. Random ending or all the endings. I mean, it doesn't matter. In all cases, uh, communism was a red herring. So this is currently a three bed no bath. Also three bed no detail. And possibly at this point three bed no walls. <laughs> because hey. Um <laughs> I wouldn't want to live here. Not without any walls. No privacy. Uh let's see. I'm tempted to do that roof again on here because that kind of feels like it might make sense. So, t uh, deep slate tile as a convenient, comparable roof. I mean, that's what I'm going to work on first, obviously. A roof. Why, why would I work on walls? <laughs> when clearly, clearly... The problem is I haven't got a roof. Makes 
makes perfect sense for me. <laughs> I, I, I swear that's almost as bad as some of my other uh, habits in here. It's like, yes, why, why, why should I build this build? Uh, why, why should I, you know, build X when there is completely random alternative item that I haven't built yet either? left thinking we'll go with a low profile building again low profile that sounds wrong uh, but so be it uh, RPI, uh, 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 uh. why I mean I know it's probably because it's impossible to get even the uh, <laughs> yeah yeah Really? Interesting. Very interesting. That building is the same width as that building. That can't be. Can't be. Yeah, it is. Okay. Fine. So we'll do this again. Like that. Um. No. Personally, uh, with regards to Raspberry Pis, I am currently more interested in the Kickstarter for the Raspberry Pi Blades. Yeah. Yep. I'm more interested in that. I should not have put away all of the Deep Slate. Not Deep Slate. I did not order the entire 19-inch rack pre-filled. Although it was very tempting. It was very tempting. Particularly since that comes with all the pies as well. Uh, no, no. Actually, I um, I, I have many pies already, just not of the uh, compute module format. No, I um, no raspberry. And this is where the uh, obvious problem of uh, Pi versus Sponge uh, arguments and Flame Wars begins. For those who remember the old days of the internet. Ah, you young, young, innocent people who've never been in a Pi versus Sponge flame war. It, it, it's not so much a matter of being out of the loop. Uh, that's a thing from the internet back in the 80s. Pi versus Sponge is an old argument from Usenet days. Off by four. Not bad. Woohoo! It fits! It fits! Uh, 
Actually, I'm going to use the deep slate tile for the... Uh, what the heck's it called? The, 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 the peak of the roof as well. Really? Fifteen. Well, that's uh, okay. That should be the right number. Should be. Whether or not it is, is another problem. Hey, what do you know? I can count. <laughs> now, now. Not always that bad. Ah, I can point you at a um, an interesting. Uh, there is a. Um, bad, bad. There you go. Pixel and Polly. It's a uh, somebody I follow on Twitter and occasionally I retweet from. Uh, they do. They have a very nice set of roof designs, just on a single A4 page, um, that you can actually look at as uh, representative ideas of different shapes of roof. Uh, it's a very good starting point. I actually, I, I bought their PDF simply because I wanted to have a decent reference, uh, and. I have found it incredibly useful. Uh, now I need more of the uh, spruce. I mean, a lot of the information you can probably get for free from a lot of places, but the fact that they've done it in a nice format as a good PDF, you've got road designs, arch designs, roof designs, buildings at different angles, which is actually an incredibly useful thing, and where some of the uh, buildings at different angles, like this one, this is pretty much the floor plan is taking one of their... Uh, their ones and just picking the right number of uh, extras to stick onto it. It, it. They don't have an actual building design, they just have lots of base elements that you can work from. And as such, I kind of recommend it. If it wasn't obvious. Slabs, spruce blocks, which we can turn into spruce slabs. Okay, who let Nanyan into the fire that I've been fighting for the last few days? Roofs like this, I'm just pretty much making up as I go along. But it is very much out of habit and knowing what sort of basic shapes operate well. Although that said, I'm tempted to put a dormer window on this. Who let the fire out? Who, who, who? 
Um, <laughs> that should hopefully be enough. Hey, TGM. Yeah, that's something I haven't really done in this world yet. I probably should consider doing that. Uh, some sort of thatched roof design would probably be an interesting one to actually get into some of these areas. These are probably the smallest... Just had a door open in my face. That's just going to be a flat wall. We'll put a window on either side. Probably one here, one there. That would be... Right. We have a roof. Roof, roof. Uh, that said, I could probably do with doing that. No. Uh, let's do this. Still off by two. Of course I am. And let's get a few more of these. This build is on fire. No. no nothing's on fire yet. It is, however, an off by two error again. I seem to be constantly two half slabs short. probably do is run a load along there and actually just fill in this section with more half slabs. Oops, can't go out that way. Let's see if 42 is not only the meaning of life but more than enough uh, half slabs to finish this roof off on the interior. I think it would actually look nice with it just being a... Oop. Yep. 42 definitely was the right number. So we've got a solid interior on the roof. We've got the beginnings of rooms appearing here. Great. Now we can start on the walls because it makes perfect sense to build the foundations, the corners, the roof, and then the walls. I mean, doesn't everybody? That's the best way to do it, isn't it? First question becomes actually I'm just going to move this and bring it into the house with me. So I'll put the stone cutter here for the moment. Right, let's start at the back. One, two, three, four, five, seven, seven. Seven feels like a good starting point. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. Uh, oh, those are half slabs. Dag nabbit. I forgot to deal with that half slabs. So now my off by one errors are off by half. <laughs> actually have to do that and that so I might as well do two more and yeah two more question is do we have a window and then a gap uh, and then a wall or a wall and then a window let's do the windows there and there okay uh, that one needs to be a solid brick, so let's make it that and that. And then one of those to go here. And then we need solids here and here, because otherwise the door. And then, let's see, four? Four. Four feels good. I think you can do... No. Okay. Fine. Ooh. No. Hold on. Um. I know. Question. Maybe. Possibly. Do I... No, I don't. Why do I not have... Because they're all over here. Does granite go well with um, wheaty dirt brick? Eh, you're not meal. You're meal provider. Yes. Okay, that goes well with that. So let's put another two here. And because these are half slabs, we'll have to put in half slabs all the way along there. So that works. Um, that feels like it should be a solid wall. As opposed to having windows. Actually, no, that should be the window, the wall with the window. Uh, that should be the solid wall. And this one should be solid blocks. So... Let's do you, 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 you. Bit of this. Weighty dirt comes into play. Whoops. Apparently, I have an overpowered pickaxe. That's better. That works nicely. I think we need two of those. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, I think we might do another two walls and then just go for a two wide window. Or do we make it offset? One wall. Two walls. Do I make this asymmetric or symmetric? to go with asymmetric. Yep, let's let's really annoy people and go with asymmetric. More fun that way. Like so. A two and a one. Okay. That one's done. So the question becomes, what are we doing along here? This feels like it might need to be solid walls except well I don't know I can actually get away with solid walls and not solid walls uh, if that makes sense uh, do solid solid whoops half slabs solid solid and window your half slabbed already. That one needs to be solid, so solid, solid. Uh, those can be walls. 
So let's do one, two, three, and a couple of uh, mud brick walls. Ew, ew, ew. And we'll put a two wide window in. No, let's put two more there and make it a one wide window. Ah, I've only got wheaty dirt. I need at least one more hard brick wall. So there. So we've got a window into this room. Window onto the corridor. So I need there. Uh, let's just do solid blocks. Uh, you you window. So we got one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen panes of glass that were needed. Eighteen panes of glass. What are the odds that I have like six or something stupid like that? Uh, you go back in here, you and you go back in here, glass is in here, I have 9 of grey and 54 of green. Honestly, that probably feels about right. We can use green to show it as slightly mossed over. So if we find the sections of the wall that have got moss on them, we can use the green glass over the top of it. So, yeah, that works. Whoops. No. Really? Really, Scott? You're going to mess up that badly? Uh, I also need to put a front door on this place. windows in all wall sections. I like that. It gives it a nice sort of, it is semi-mottled type look. And the fact that it's solid on this side makes sense because of walkway out to tower. I mean, granted, window because only wall uh, only section of wall on that um, room but hey um that kind of feels like that should actually be dirt okay path needs to disappear this needs to have a uh, a deck leading up to the front door how do we do a deck I don't know. What, what colour do we use for the deck? They need to be decked out. Somebody find Tango Tech. I can get decked out onto the front of this building. Um, yeah. I'd only be waiting 17 months. Um, <laughs> what, am I, what, what do I want for the colouring of that? I mean, I'm tempted to. I'm tempted to make it deep slate and just have it as a stone deck. I mean, yeah, logical statement is logical there, Cyber. Uh, thankfully, my accent is not quite bad enough to cause that to sound wrong. front door because to be honest I haven't had many oak front doors in this world I just, uh, just don't know what to have for the 
Um, hold on. Why, why do I have two llamas here? Okay, hold on. We've got an... In <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Who said you could move in? Ooh, rooted dirt. Rooted dirt might actually be worth purchasing from you. Hold on here. Apparently he's decided that the llamas need to move in with him. Um, I'm not sure that that's a sensible place for Llamageddon to move into. Um, why am I going in there? I wanted to go in here for the expensive stuff. Uh, emeralds. Excuse me, sir. Those rooted dirt. Uh, I, can't, I, I wish to buy them. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. And these llamas, um, are, are they, um, are, are they boat trained? They are boat trained. Thank you. He, he tripped over. He tripped over and it, it was just a massacre. I don't know what happened. I, 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 we'll have a moment of mourning for him. He fell into a hole. Some he must have. It must have been these sections of. Um, it, it must have been these sections where it, it. He just tripped over those edges and, oh, the the horror, the humanity. I, I'll just have to make sure that these llamas have a new home, and are well looked after. Thank you. That's one that uh, loves me. I, I think this one doesn't trust me. No, you really don't trust... Ah, no, there you are. Right. And that's how easy it is to get a llama out of a boat. You just attach a lead to it. Right. You two, stay up here for the moment. We, we, we thank you. I'm sure I've got some natural llama. Um, actually, no, I do have natural llama tour. Um, when I... Um, the very first city. The very, very first city. There were llamas up on the top of the hill. Uh, and so I recruited them as well. Yes. I got a few natural llamas all the way back there. And I think things and stuff were, as Raven says, were of that uh, ilk and that breed. Possibly got bred. He's fine. I've looked after his llamas. Don't worry. Right. Uh, I was going to put a door on this because, well, it kind of feels like it needs it now. Um, let's see. I still haven't got the concept of what I'm... Okay. Uh, still haven't worked out what I'm going to do for a deck. I'm, I'm erring in the direction of not a clue. Um, spruce trap doors? Those trapdoors feel so um, so overdone, though. Particularly as a deck. Jungle slabs. Do I actually have some jungle? I know I saw some recently. I'm sure I saw some jungle wood. Hey, I actually have jungle woods. I haven't really used jungle. I mean, we've got a small amount of it locally. Just a small amount. Could try it. 
It might actually fit with the colour as well. Thank you, 2GM. It's a good suggestion. Because it'll probably go well with the... Um, uh, 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 wheaty Dirt. It does go well with the Wheaty Dirt. And then we can just do something by way of... Ooh, Jungle Trap Doors might make a nice um, edging. That's not going to be enough. Because I'm going to need two per thing. Dag nabbit. I didn't mean to break that. Oh well. Wait. Ah. I was about to say, I had eight. Why do I only have seven? Oh, that's 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 just annoying. Thank you. Yeah, stick another eight of those on top of that, and it will uh, all be kosher, or at least solid. I don't know why I ran to this one. There's a perfectly good one covered in uh, glow lichen down under this tree. Under this tree. Under this tree. I don't know why. I'm... Ah. Dag nabbit, come back here. I'm just this guy, you know. That works. That that works quite nicely. Yep. Jung jungle was just the right material to recommend for this. Thank you. I'm tempted to reverse those. I'm so tempted to reverse those because I think it might be nicer with the row of black uh, sort of handles down the middle. No, I'm going to leave it as is. Um, uh, they do look like trellis, which is why I might... Oh, I can't have things growing up them because they're on the wrong side of the slab. I, if I wanted things growing up them, I'd need them on here. Uh, that that etc yeah they do look like trellis and I will have to use that more as well I keep forgetting that I always forget jungle uh, wood I don't know why it's not a wood that I've been using much of is the path come in through here and bring the wall around here. Yeah, if we bring this wall around here, then we can have the entrance into this area through here. And bring it over to there, and so forth, and yeah, I think that will look quite good. Could probably put a little, um, I was about to say, put a little stables here for a pair of llama. Um, <laughs> oh no, uh, this area will need fixing, probably a small field, some form. This area needs 
more foliage but it was left unfinished until we knew what we were going to do there this wall looks um bland as all smeg what other colors you have jungle slabs in your redwood tree look very yellow hmm. I, I think they work well against the um the, the wheaty dirt and not too bad against the uh, granite. I also, yeah. So we've got a nicely. Yeah, at, at, at this rate, tomorrow is going to be uh, detailing out the rest of this corner and possibly, you know, interior decoration. Yes, I am very well aware that it is now Pretty's o'clock, so I'm going to move my main account whoops, in here. Actually, I'm going to pick up the bed. There's no point in leaving the bed in the middle of nowhere anymore. Uh, let's put the bed over here in the middle of nowhere instead. <laughs> no point of leaving it in the middle of nowhere, so I'll go and put it elsewhere in the middle of nowhere. That half slab took it retaliation on me for something. And if I hit this button, we, we mysteriously already have Pretty's O'Clock loaded up. And I really think this area is starting to come together. We actually have a house and a workshop and a working area and the sun just reached a really nice angle for that to all look really, really fantastic. Oh, this isn't a priest house, uh, Frau K. Priest house will be on the other side of the church. This is Carpenter's house for making the boats. I, I know I was pondering it initially. Also, man, also Enderman in a cart sounds like it should be interesting um church i think what we need is somewhere for him to live which means probably relocating Lamageddon and putting a house here because i don't think i'd want to live in here contrary to how nice this area looks it really does look nice I do like the way that this altar area looks, even after demolishing it. And that, that look. Thank you, Minecraft, for your appropriate timing with the god rays. Do we have the god rays over here? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yep. I think this area is really starting to fill out nicely now. And as we briefly sleep through the night, side tower under the ground. No, nope, absolutely right there. Uh, there is absolutely nothing to stop me. And maybe underground would explain why this area just collapsed. We, we could have... Um, some sort of living area under here. There's just one problem. Huge tunnel leading off into the arse end of nowhere. <laughs> many, many tunnels. I had pondered this being uh, a priest hole-esque uh, area as well. Because, I mean, look at the size of this cave. That's almost lovely for a sleeping room. Um, but... Ah. How are we doing on actual filling in of the world? We're actually starting to fill in the gaps on this side of the build. Of the city. It, it's really starting to fill in uh, into the areas where there are previously gaps. Which... I like the idea of because I wanted this to feel like it was a very, very um, 
dense cityscape, almost. Which is why that area next to the, the temple needs looking at. But I think uh, this this area is nicely filling out now. I love the way that this actually holds together. Considering I didn't actually have a good idea of what I was going to put here, other than some sort of dock area, which is where we've got the boat. All of this has just come out this week, and yeah. Small farm to sustain the priest. Very likely. Although, graveyard works as well. I'm very tempted by both. We'll have to see what I feel like when I get to it. However, unfortunately, we have reached that time of the evening where I have to say goodbye, unfortunately. I will, however, say thank you to all of you for joining me this evening. Uh, all the randomness, all of the insanity. It's just not as fun without uh, those of you sat in the background lurking, those in the, of you in the front foreground being noisy as smeg, uh, and all of you just joining me here for the madness. I will be back again tomorrow, uh, usual time, two and a half hours previously to now, um, where we will probably be doing all of the fine detailing around the last of this area that we've been working on. And, uh, yeah, that should hopefully end off the week with another completed zone of this city. We will have a see. Either way, I hope everyone has a good time zone, and I will see you all again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>